Today po ang recipe natin, um, it's very easy. Gagawa pa ako ng Japanese pancake. It's actually very, very famous in Japan, especially in Osaka. People go to Osaka just to have this very famous, delicious okonomiyaki. And today, our ingredients will be um, very easy, very simple, very nutritious ve vegetables. Um, I'll be using the uh, Japanese um, Yama Mountain Yam. So they call this a Yama Imo. And we're also using a cabbage, okay? I'll be using three eggs, okay? Um, and then I have the green onions. I have the, um, the bonito flakes. And then I have some nori, it's actually a um, green seaweed. And I also uh, using um, ginger. You know the pickled ginger that we use in sushi? So this is one of the uh, ingredients. And I also have the um, Japanese mayo. The texture and the taste of Japanese mayo is actually a little bit different than the regular mayo that we get it here in our, um, in our local grocery store. So it's actually pretty good. And also, I'll be using the okonomiyaki sauce. So today, I never get a chance to make uh, to buy okonomiyaki sauce in our Asian local market. But what I did is I made this sauce. It's a mixture of Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, a little bit of light soy sauce, and um, dashi uh, soup base. So dashi soup base is actually um, it's a it's a fish soup base. Okay. So this is the mixture of our okonomiyaki sauce. So, um, by cooking it as well, I'll be using the Salad Master um, Oil Pork Skillet. This one right here is actually pretty amazing because you can use it as your oven. You know, you can bake here, you can fry here, you can roast here, you can stew here. It's really, really amazing. It's very good, it's very healthy. And I'm also going to use our uh, very famous our Salad Master um, um, salad machine food processor where I am going to grate my yamai mo and also I'm going to slice my um, cabbage. All right. I also made some um, dashi soup base. It's actually a fish soup base. It's a liquid right here and I also put the light soy sauce. I can't really show you because it's liquid but I'm going to show it to you later once I pour it. All right. All right. So right now I'll be using the um, Salad master um, cone number one to do to grate the yama imo. Okay, this one right here it's really amazing. It's very easy. All you need to do is just put it in. You know, um, turn it clockwise, and then it's pretty good because if you all need to do is just do like this. I'm just gonna put this away first so you can see it. Baby, can I ask a favor? Can you do um, the video closer here so that they can see it? Amazing, there you go. Okay, so the texture, it's actually very, very slimy. It looks like this. I'm gonna show it to you closer. It's like this. It's very, very slimy. And it's, um, Right. And then next, I'll be using my cone number three to slice the uh, cabbage. Usually, we dice the cabbage, but since I have the salad machine food processor, it's much more easier for me to do it because I just need, I, all I need to do is just dump it right here, okay? So usually, when we're using the cabbage, we always like take out the core because it's, it's the hard, hard part. But we don't know that this core right here, it's actually pretty amazing. It's very, very healthy because the nutrients, it's right here on the core. So that's the first thing that I'm going to um, dice up, the core part. Oh, 
And if you think that your hand is not safe, you can actually put it inside your salad machine and you just press it like this. So it's much more easier. Oops. Makes your life easier. There you go. Okay, so my yamaimo and my slice of cabbage is already ready. All I need to do is just mix it together. This right here. It's like it looks very fluffy, you know. It's very, very easy. It smells so good too. It depends how um, you like it. You can add salt and pepper as well. But today, I'm not gonna use any salt because I already have, I put some salt in my um, soup stock. In my fish soup stock. Okay. I'll put in my egg. So as you can see, it's very, very fluffy. It looks like you put um, flour in there, right? But there's actually no flour in there. It's actually the, the, the yamaimo who make it look fluffy. Put everything together. Look at that. Right? Okay. So after doing that, I'm going to transfer it in a smaller bowl. So you can see it much more better. So nice. So now I'm going to add my um, chicken soup stock. I'm sorry, not chicken. It's the fish soup base. Look at that. It looks like a little bit brown because I put some um, light soy sauce in there as well. So the hondashi is actually really amazing to add that flavor, like a Japanese twist of flavor in your cooking. Okay. All right. So now my butter, which is made with yamaimo, with the Japanese um, mountain yam, is ready to be put in my skillet. Lightly oiled, a little oil, and then I'm just dropping my mixture butter. Okay. After putting my um, my butter in there, I'm actually adding the ginger. The ginger actually adds the aroma. It's actually really tasty. And you know ginger is actually really, really good antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. It really boosts our immune system as well. I'm gonna add the green onions. Just gonna cover it, leave it for at least two to three minutes.
depends how, how you like the mayo. But me, I love mayo. And my bonito flakes. Ready to serve.